Hey folks, today we are at the deer lease and officially we are tailgating cause I am cooking off the freaking tailgate today. But anyways, uh, we got a pork butt here we're gonna cook up and uh, we're gonna put it on the barrel smoker. Got some great Cosmo rubs gonna tell you about. So come in here close. Let me show you how I seize up this pork butt and we have some good dinner tonight here at the deer lease. All right, guys, you can see I got about a seven and a half pound pork butt. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to trim it. We're not going to do anything to it, but I'm going to start off with some SPG from Cosmos. And we're going to start shaking it out. Want to make sure we get the sides good. And we are going to layer flavors up on this thing today. All right. SPGs first. Then we're coming in with some Dirty Bird. I love this Dirty Bird. Gonna get my nephew's tailgate good and dirty. And we are doing the fat side first. And the last thing we're gonna do is some uh, Chipotle, Honey Chipotle Killer Bee. Add a little of that great Chipotle flavor to it. Put it up on the top, that side that's gonna go up. Same scenario, guys, right here. SPG. Dirty Bird. Killer B. All right, let's go look at this pit. We're gonna put it on, see if we can get it on there. Got our flame going down here. Um, I got my barrel house cooker. It's going on the rack. We're not gonna hang it in here today. Lids up on top. Got some chunks of oak in there. That's it, guys. I'm thinking this one, we're gonna, we're gonna cook this one kinda hot. I'm gonna run up between 275 and 300. And we're going to try to cook this thing in about six hours. So when we come in from the blind tonight, we'll have a good barbecued uh, uh, pork butt. I may wrap it before we head out to the blind and let it cook the last few hours like that. But we'll see y'all oh, in about four hours when it's time to wrap it. All right, guys. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. We're about four hours into this. Let's look, see if we can get some, what that thing looks like. There we go. Got some nice color. We're fixing to go to the blind, so we're gonna wrap this baby up. Guys, this is my traveling knife kit. I keep this with me. We're gonna process a deer here in camp. Whatever we're gonna do, we got a uh, just a uh, uh, thermometer. We can throw in that meat if we wanted to. I got some rubber gloves, which I'm fixing to use. And I just uh, stick a bunch of them inside of one. So I'll get two of them out. This time I'm gonna make some, yeah, but put them back in there. And then, there's all my, y'all know I like these Mercer knives. Here's a Mercer Renaissance. German steel, that's a $50 bill, folks. You can find these in my Amazon store, but works great. So whatever you're gonna do, but I have it, I have boning knives, everything I need to process a deer or when we get through cooking to take care of it, some thongs, sharpening steel, got a lot of meat, but I keep my gloves in there. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pull out some foil here. And uh, should have enough. Hopefully, I got enough. Grab the little container up before I left the house. But, I overlap it a little bit. We're going to see if that'll work. If not, I'll get out another piece. But for uh, high heat, Guys, just get you some cotton gloves. You can buy these like seven, eight dollars for a dozen. All right. You don't want to spend money on high heat rubber gloves and you just take your latex glove. Look right here. All 
All right. I now have high heat gloves that I'm not going to get any grease on me and I can come sit that pork butt right there and we're going to wrap it up. I use extra large. You got to have them big enough for your hands. Let's get our pork butt over here and we're going to take it off. There you go. Corey, you want to get a good picture of it? Look at that. Looking pretty, right? Mm-hmm. They're ready to go. Just like that. Hopefully I tore off enough. If not, we'll run another one on it. Ooh, well, it's close to not having enough. We'll run another piece around it just to be safe. There's that. Take the rest of my the rest of this roll looks like. Man, we're running the house, see if Steven's got any. Make sure we got enough. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it this way. Turn the top down. Got a nice color. That all the work. We'll go get this back on the pit. It's three, so it's going to go about, oh, I'd say three and a half, four hours. I'll put the temperature about 250. I'm going to lower it a little bit. And uh, when we get back in here about 6 7 o'clock, it ought to be falling apart ready for some uh, good uh, pork for supper tonight so let's get it back on the pit all right we got this ready to go again I'm gonna take it back over here got my thermometer put it back in good thing about this one is it's got holes in the side so I can run my probe in make sure you don't hit the bone and we're gonna take this up to 205 degrees. Let me turn this thing on. There we go. We'll see y'all in a few hours and we'll get this off. All right, guys, we got this off. My nephew pulled this off about 4.30, so we went five and a half hours on it. And he said it was up to 204. I did put another little bit of foil on it. Came back in the house and got some, but let me see if I can open this up. So we're gonna let y'all see what it looks like here. Here we go. Ooh, man, look at that. That's some good looking pork. Little pork shoulder, let's grab this bone. That's been sitting for a while. It may not come out real easy, but I bet you it does come out clean. It's hot still. Are you there? That pulled clean out. There is that. I'm not going to grab it because it is hotter than a pop pistol still, but look at there. Guys, that pork butt is tender and it is moist. Went about four and a half hours at 275. It was a seven and a half pounder. Put some uh, Cosmo Q. I'm gonna take a little sample here. Mmm. Hey, that's great. We're gonna get back, let you see the sample, do a little closing. But there is a beautiful, beautiful pork butt, without a doubt. Well, here you go, guys. Last week in the deer season, hanging out at Buck Camp with my brother in laws, my nephews. And good friend, but uh, got a good looking piece of pork butt there. It's moist, it's tender. That Cosmo Q rubs did a great job on it. And I'm gonna give you a little taste test here. Mm. Pretty good eating. Man, hey, I tell you what, thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. We got a lot of videos up. Find some of those videos. Go to our Wild Game playlist. Share these videos around. Number one way to support this channel is sharing videos. But hope you learned a little bit about uh, smoking pork butts on the on the drum smoker today. That barrel house is, and it's a cooking machine, guys. 
need to try to get you one, but I love it. Hope you love it as much as I do. If you get this recipe a try, give me a call. Give Cosmo Cube. Uh, give them a little try. Uh, try the rubs. Great, great products from Cosmo, guys. Good pork. I'm going to get out of here. We're going to go eat supper, and we'll see you all later. Bye, everybody. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.